In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your video to the beat of any music in Adobe Premiere Pro super fast. Hey there, I'm Mark Brown with Editor's Keys, and if you're into video editing or filmmaking, then make sure you consider subscribing to this channel because that's what we're all about. And in this series, we're gonna teach you tips, tricks, and hacks for Adobe Premiere Pro to teach you how to edit super, super fast. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit your video footage to the beat of any music track. Now, if you've tried this in the past and you've chopped up your clips, you've moved them around, you know it can take absolutely ages. And with this simple technique, I'm gonna show you how you can do it in a matter of seconds. So, let's go. The first thing you want to do is find the music that you want to use. Click the track in your project folder, then click the comma key to insert it into your sequence. Now, find all the footage that you would like to use for the sequence and add in and out points to each clip. The keyboard shortcut for this is the I key for mark in and the O key for mark out. Once you've done this to all of your clips, go back to your timeline and listen to the beats that you would like your clips cut to. Play out the track and on each beat, place a marker by pressing the M key. Now, if you need to zoom into your timeline to view the markers clearer, just press the plus key. Now, once you've placed your markers, go over to your project panel and select all of your clips that you've placed in and out points on. To do this, select the top clip, hold shift, and then scroll down and click the last clip to select them all. Then go to clip at the top and click automate to sequence. Make sure that the placement is on at unnumbered markers. There you go, all of the clips should be matched perfectly to the beat of your song. You can look over your sequence and if there are any shots that you don't like or you feel like they don't fit in there, you can highlight the clip, right click and then click ripple delete. This will delete the clip and also bring back the rest of the clips so your sequence hasn't been affected. This is a quick and easy way to edit your footage fast and save so much time. So there you go. I hope that simple technique has really helped you. And if it has, please leave me a comment or a question below as I promise I get back to every single one. If you've enjoyed that video, please hit that like, smash that notification bell and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video for more Premiere Pro tutorials.